gorgeous ghouls out there in the land of the interwebs. How are you? My name is Kate, and if you're new here, then welcome to my channel. I usually have a lot of alternative goth fashion type videos. I like to do some tags and talk about some other stuff. I've been away from YouTube for a little bit. Just came back the other day with another video. So today I thought I would just share with you my alternative slash gothy handbag collection. A majority of them are from Killstar and a few other ones are from, you know, like Hot Topic, Torrid, Spencer's, whatever have you. So uh, let's just jump right in. The first bag and wallet are on the video game spectrum. I am very much into video games and specifically I really do love Nintendo has my heart first but I also have been really loving Overwatch for a while and when I saw this little bag at GameStop I couldn't leave the store without it and it's this adorable little diva bag. It is very tiny. There's no pockets on the inside and the strap is very thin, non-adjustable, not removable, but I just thought this is a really cute bag for, you know, just going to the mall and wearing with, you know, just a really casual outfit. Staying with the theme of Diva is the Diva wallet. Just pretty plain. This front here is actually metal enamel, and then it just has, you know, a couple of credit card slots, it has a small zipper pocket up here, and yeah, just a very simple basic wallet. I believe that both the wallet and the bag are made by BioWorld, not sure, but pretty sure. The next few items are... Star Wars and the first is just this Boba Fett wallet with tattoo style wording on it that just says Bounty Hunter and on the inside it is just again really basic this has no zipper compartment it just has a couple of it just has a couple little folder pockets and a couple credit card slots this one hasn't held up super well, it just has a couple of wear and tear areas on here, but it's still really cute and functional. The next is a super adorable lounge fly coin purse that is Boba Fett's helmet. I couldn't resist getting this, I think it's so cute. It doesn't hold a lot of change, but when I use the whole set, that wallet doesn't have any coin purse in it, so gotta have this. This next one is also a lounge fly for Star Wars bag, and it is this beautiful Boba Fett barrel bag. So it's made to look like his Mandalorian armor, and then here we have a patch. And then there's another patch, and that's the back. So you have your two handles like this that you can carry it this way, and then it has a removable adjustable strap here. And on the inside, it's hard to see, but there's a zipper pocket here. And then one like folder style pocket. I've had this bag for a couple of years and it's it's held up pretty well. I don't use it that often but when I do I always get lots of compliments on this. One of my favorites for sure. This bag I found at Torrid a couple of years ago in the clearance bin. I think it was like ten dollars. I use this for um, more formal events that I have to go to, like weddings and such. This strap, also adjustable and removable. 
I usually just take the straps off of it and use it as a clutch but it has a magnetic closure and then there's one zipper pocket on the inside next is a very unique bag that I just can't bring myself to let go even though the chain strap fell off of it a long time ago and it's kind of beat up but I don't care because it's really awesome and it has like this glitter on it and it's a kiss lock closure when you open it up very small very tiny but the reason I can't get rid of it is the handle it has these beautiful skulls and gems on it and it's just really cool I use this for some special occasions but I just think it's really awesome and I like it a lot now into my Killstar bags the first one is a makeup bag but I suppose you could probably use this as a clutch as well if you wanted to this little strap is removable it has a really nice metal zipper on it and the design is on both sides it's pretty large and it has a zipper pocket on the inside and two little folder style pockets on the inside as well I forgot I have to back it up because this isn't a Killstar bag and I wanted to do all those together but this is a Rock Rebel bag and it's Frankenstein's monster and the Bride of Frankenstein. I scored this bag on Poshmark several months ago. I haven't used it yet but um, I think it's really beautiful. I love that the green part on here is sparkly and shiny and it's a pretty decent sized bag. Um, this is a bowler bag, and then on the inside it just has a, a black and white stripes with no zipper pocket, but it does have a little Velcro pocket compartment in there. The design is on both sides of the bag. There is quite a bit of wear and tear around the handles, and there's a couple of scratches in the print here which I couldn't really tell from the photo, so I personally think I overpaid a little bit for this, but these are hard to come by sometimes, so I really wanted one for a long time, so I jumped on it and I bought it. Now going back to the Killstar bags. <laughs> uh, this uh, bag I also got on Poshmark. Need a little drink, hang on. So this bag I also purchased from Poshmark and it even came with the dust bag and I have also not used this bag yet and it still has the tag on it and this is the Black Sea waist bag so it's just a fanny pack with that really cute dark mermaid motif on it and it has an adorable little plushy keychain and a little seashell small pocket on the front and then this is the compartment in here and it has a zipper pat it has a zipper pocket on the inside as well and the strap circumference is actually pretty good size and it actually does fit me which was very surprising pleasantly so I'll definitely be using this a lot in the summertime that is assuming we will have a summer. The next bag is probably my most favorite bag. Second to another bag that you'll see later. And this is the Janus fringe bag. I just think it's so beautiful. I love the embossed moon on the front of the bag. 
and then it has this beautiful moon charm that's big heavy metal it's removable and then this little I don't know what you want to call it like a faux tail kind of charm thing is also removable if this isn't your thing I didn't think I would like it at first I thought I knew right away I was gonna take it off but for some reason I just think it works with the bag so I've left it on and it's really awesome then on each of the four corners of the bag it has this really beautiful fringe um, I don't know about anybody else but I haven't had any problems with the fringe getting tangled at all it has really nice straps on the bag that are long enough I don't like bags where these shoulder straps are too short so I think that it when it's on my shoulder it hits at a really nice place <clears throat> and it's very comfortable to carry and it holds a lot of stuff as it's quite roomy there's another zipper pocket as well in this bag and two more folder style pockets in the front <clears throat> Like I said, it's very roomy. And then on the back of the bag, there's also a small zipper pocket. I usually like to put my phone in that pocket because then it's a lot easier to find it when I need it so that it's not in the abyss of the bag. So 10 out of 10 would recommend the Janus bag. I love it. And next is a backpack. I don't quite remember the name of this bag, so I'll pop it here somewhere. But I think it's like the Starlight bag. But anyway, it's a really beautiful, soft velvet bag with these adorable crescent moon shaped hardware for the zipper pulls. And I chose this bag to put my pins on. Two of these are Killstar pins. This one is from um, Die With Your Boots On in Salem. I ordered it online. I can link their website down below. They have a few other variations of this House of Seven Gables pin and I think it is beautiful and stunning and I want all of the variations. <laughs> And the other pins are from Hot Topic. So this bag is quite roomy on the inside and it has another zipper pocket here. And there's two little side pockets here. I did actually use this bag for the last semester of college. So it does fit several standard size notebooks along with my pencil case and car keys and a couple other things. Um, I obviously I don't think I would recommend putting a textbook in here because I don't think it would fit and it'd be too heavy. But just for carrying a couple notebooks around and my essentials, this bag has worked really well. The bottom part has a faux leather panel and then there's faux leather accents on the straps and the faux leather strap here for hanging it up. So yeah, another winner in my book love this bag this bag this is the sacred six backpack and I do absolutely love this bag I think it is beautiful I love the hardware these chain little accents on these zippers here are completely removable and it would change the look of the bag um, it's the only thing I don't like about these chains is that when these are on the bag I don't think you'd want to put anything in these little zipper pockets here because these chains are kind of heavy and it does tend to bring down the zipper pull so you don't want to lose whatever you would have in these little pockets and they're not that big anyway but um, just a heads up on that I do think it's overall a gorgeous bag a little awkward to put things in and take out of the bag just because it's vertical as opposed to horizontal like most of us are used to and I definitely have to use a smaller wallet when using this bag because 
you know a regular one will fit in there but then nothing else is going to fit in the bag and it's hard to like shove it in there if it's a bigger bag so smaller wallet for sure and then on the back of the bag there's another zipper pocket there's no shortage of zipper pockets with most Killstar bags that I've ever had, so um, kudos to them on that. Then it does have your adjustable backpack straps, and I believe you can probably change the position of the straps by moving it up to this D-ring, so the bag's kind of versatile as well. And then this little down here you can take that off it gives you a little more room in the bag if you need it so the only disappointment that I have about this bag is that it's coming apart up here this part where the zippers are supposed to join up here are separating from the top of the bag. I don't know if you can see that there, some of the threads. They've been coming undone for a while now. I haven't used this bag in a few months, but I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna get some really strong glue and glue it back down and hope that it solves the problem because I love this bag and I wanna use it again. So, I mean, this, isn't a huge deal to me. I know that it, the quality should be just a little bit better for the price that we pay for the bags, but I know that I can fix this. I'm not too worried about it. I'm not sure if anybody else has that issue with this bag, but this is another bag that I definitely get compliments on when I'm using it. And I just really love it. And the last bag is the She's a Witch handbag. And it's this really awesome circular design. And it's all, I don't know if you want to call it like PVC or vinyl. And it has the Wicked Witch of the West on it. And the back is just plain. It has nice uh, straps on each side of the bag. And then it comes with this detachable, adjustable nylon strap, and then the bottom of the bag has two little feet on it so that it will stand up when you put it down. And it has two zippers on it that unzip only to here on each side. And then when you open it, I'm, this is my current bag right now. I took everything out but the wallet. And it opens up like this. And even though it's narrow, it holds a lot of stuff. And it has one little zipper pocket up here. And it's just a plain lining that's embossed with Killstar all over it. It looks small, but it really does hold a lot of stuff. Oh, my throat is so dry today. It's so dry in my house. <clears throat> Totally off topic, but Mountain Dew Baja Blast is my jam. It's my favorite. I even found a funny goth meme that I'll insert here. Mm. Totally my favorite drink. But anyway, even though the bag seems like it might be a little small, it's really not. It holds tons of stuff. Another bag that I get tons of compliments on when I'm using it. Now I just get where'd you get that bag i love your bag so it's really fun and i'm really glad that i purchased this bag i don't even know how long i've had this but it's been quite a while thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this in the future and um what's your favorite handbag uh, let me know in the comments below which one of my bags did you like the best, and I will see you in the next one.